Hello everyone, today I wanted to tell you about how I created a bot with ChatGPT that will help us create passive income and make our lives much easier. Before we dive into the details, I would like to say a few words about the fact that the world of cryptocurrencies is full of scammers. The best and only way to save your money is to avoid suspicious transactions from other wallets and other unofficial platforms that work with your assets. If you've mastered the rules of asset safety, let's begin configuring our bot. The code for this bot operates on the principles of MEV, short for Maximal Extractable Value. MEV involves the use of mempool and arbitrage strategies along with front-running. It works with popular decentralized platforms on Ethereum like Uniswap, OneInch, and so on. Simplistically, it means that someone creates a transaction with slippage. It goes into a mempool, it's a place where transactions are waiting to be processed and get into the blockchain. This ChatGPT's code scans the mempool, sees this transaction, checks if it can benefit from it, and if so, creates a transaction for the same amount, but with higher gas price so that it passes first and then resells this transaction for a higher price thanks to slippage. This difference between the additional ether spent on gas and slippage is our profit. First of all, you need MetaMask. I'll leave a link in the description if you don't have it installed. Then go to the Remix Ethereum, it's an official platform for creating smart contracts on Solidity language. This link is provided in the description too. Click the new file button, name the file whatever you want, I'm going to call it code.sol. Then copy the code that I left in the description and paste it in the file you created. If you're interested in how the code itself works, you can check it out, there are some comments about it. The bot requirement is using more than one Ethereum because of smaller amounts don't have enough slippage to make profit on it and basically the more Ethereum bot uses, the greater profit it brings you. It's completely open source for audits and free for modifications as well, but in case of modifications, only you are responsible for its functioning. I have more than one Ethereum on MetaMask and connected to the Ethereum mainnet chain. If you have it too, go to the compiler section to compile our bot. Best of all is to enable optimization, it can help to reduce gas spending in the future. Then click compile code.sol, then navigate to the deploy and run transactions tab. If you didn't work with Remix before, follow the instructions. In the environment tab, choose injected provider MetaMask. If successful, you will see wallet connection and after the connection use deploy button. I would definitely recommend using the aggressive option for gas to deploy the contract because the difference in Ethereum is so small, but the transaction is performed significantly faster. Now we are waiting for our MAV code deploying. In the terminal, you can find transaction message about deploying. Click on it and get the transaction ID. Go to the Etherscan and paste your transaction ID into search field. Here you can see the success. It means that the smart contract deployed successfully. Also, you can see here all information about your bot, including the balance it will use for front running. Now let's go back to the Remix. As you can see, we got control panel of our bot. Every button has its own function. First of all, set trade balance Ethereum sets the amount of Ethereum that bot will use to front run transactions. Set trade balance percent pretty much the same thing, but here you can set the amount in percentage of Ethereum on your wallet. Start Native sends a command to the bot to start working with funds and make transactions. Stop gives the bot a command to stop working with the funds. Withdraw commands the bot to withdraw funds from the smart contract to the creator's wallet. Before withdrawing funds, it is necessary to stop the bot as the funds can be used in the front run at the moment. Key. Your personal API key that identifies you as the bot's owner. Do not reveal it to anyone. To start work with your bot, you need to click the key button, then copy it and paste it into the value field. After that, we need to specify the amount of Ethereum the bot will work with. I will use 2 Ethereum and click Start Native button. As you can see, the bot instantly analyzed my wallet balance. Make sure that you connect it to the Ethereum chain and confirm connection. Then go to the ether scan and await of the confirmation of transaction. Bot successfully received two Ethereum for front run trading and the remaining amount is still on my wallet. 
I want to track 12 and 24 hour yields. It's been a bit less than 12 hours since, let's see what we've made on this. Refresh the Etherscan page, 0 0.89 Ethereum, it's more than $2,000, let's give it another 12 hours. After 24 hours in total, let's check the profit. Refresh Etherscan again, you can see I've made more than 1.5 Ethereum only in one day. Actually, it sounds like a really good result to me and these earnings are full passive income. Now, let's return to the Remix and make a withdrawal to get my Ethers back to the wallet. Firstly, you must use the stop function, set the gas price to aggressive and confirm the transaction. After a successful confirmation that you can find in the terminal, click withdraw button, set gas to aggressive and confirm. Wait until transaction will appear in the terminal. As you can see, I have instantly withdrawn funds from the smart contract back to my wallet, but it doesn't have any additional fees because only you are its owner. Also, you can go to the Etherscan and check bot balance. It's zero as expected. If you see some Ethereum on the smart contract balance, try to refresh the Etherscan page. Thank you for watching the video and the opportunity to share this content with you. I hope it has provided new insights for you and help you create your own source of passive income. Subscribe to my channel for next videos about coding in Web3.